women shopping for skincare products might want to look in the men's aisle. Yep, that's what they're saying. The men's aisle, the New York Times highlights there's a growing trend that could save you money, but there are some important differences you need to know before you buy. Dr. Elizabeth Hale is a clinical associate professor of dermatology at NYU Langone Medical Center right here in good old New York City. It never occurred to me to go to the men's aisle for beauty products. I didn't even know there was a men's aisle for beauty products, <laughs> right. so let's start there. Okay, well, first of all, it's a good thing. It's good to know that men now are being clued into the fact that we have to take care of our skin on a daily basis. Uh -huh. So I think, you know, for years and years, women have been used to applying products and buying more products. So it's really a multi-billion dollar industry. But men are finally catching on. But at this point, if you look at a men product side by side with the women's, the men's products are much less expensive. Mm, why is that? So there's a big difference. Look at that number. So you're getting the same thing in both yeah. packages, potentially, just paying a lot more. Potentially. The active ingredients are very similar. So whether you're a man or a woman, you want to think about daily sunscreen and antioxidants, which right. can help protect our skin from the damaging effects of the sun and from environmental pollution. And then people with more concerns about anti-aging or maybe pigmentation might look for products with alpha hydroxy acids or retinols. And those are across the board, whether you're a man or a woman. The difference is really in some of the formulations because men tend to have thicker, oilier skin and they prefer something a little more alcohol or gel based. Whereas women tend to like things that are more luxurious and creamy, like a, a mousse formulation. And they also tend to be, the women's products tend to be packaged in more expensive bottles. So they might reach for a nice fancy glass bottle, whereas a man prefers, you know, basic yeah. plastic tube, less expensive. Yeah. Regardless of whether you buy it from the men's aisle or the women's aisle, what is it that we need to do for our skin? Good. I'm glad you asked. So the daily sunscreen. <laughs> good. I think you we asked a good there. question. <laughs> well, you know, I like how you did that, Elizabeth. Good. She's glad you asked. That was good. <laughs> but you know, women are used to putting makeup on, so they think yes. about skincare. Men yes. really don't. But many men shave. Most men probably shave. So that's where I try to introduce it. Daily sunscreen number one. So after you shave, try to apply a lotion with sunscreen. Ideally, it would have antioxidants as well, which can further protect your skin from damage. And then when you're ready to think more about anti-aging, you know, continuing to look young, something with possibly the retinol or the alpha hydroxy acid. Terrific. Do you think it's been difficult sure. to get men into the skincare business? Because I noticed you said they're finally catching on, but I think they've been doing it now for for a little while, don't you think? I think been so. Been concerned about hygiene and the looks. It's no longer considered taboo to go get a pedicure or get a manicure for a lot of men. Exactly. I think it's part of just adopting a healthier lifestyle. So eating well, exercising, taking care of your skin. It's all about looking young. Mm -hmm. And what the New York Times article pointed out is, you know, the men used to borrow their women's product, yes. but now these savvy women, and they see how much less expensive men's skincare products are, maybe the savvy women mm -hmm. are borrowing from their men. Do you moisturize? <laughs> no, but I mean, I, should, I, I really listen to her. I, mean, yeah. I think all this is yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things that I should do, I don't. I don't either. I probably should. Yeah. That's you what should both moisturize, yeah. yes. sunscreen, it's, Because I know, I mean, I know women that have done this for a long time, and their skin is amazingly good over decades of right? living. It yes. pays off. It does. Keeps you looking really young does. and healthy. Yeah. That's Doc. good. Doctor very Elizabeth good thing. Hale, word is your skin is very good too, Charlie. It is very nice. That's the word on the street. That <laughs> great, your skin's great, very good. Great Maybe M. you can talk about this on evening news tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's doing evening news a little bit. Okay. This should be <laughs> the, the lead story. Explain his moisturizing <laughs> procedure. CBS evening news.